Hey, hey. Okay, so for some of you guys who need a little more help step by step on exactly how to create that home page, girlfriend, I got you. So I'm going to be creating a generic home page for me and kind of walking through what that little what that looks like. So I'm going to show you a little bit of an easy way and then how to dress it up a little bit more and make it a little more snazzy. Okay, so here we go. So you're going to want to make sure from the exercise of of, uh, build your brand you already have your brand name and you have your tagline whatever your tagline is that's what you want to put right here so you're gonna want to type your tagline right here and let's just say your tagline is to create boss babes who build the life they deserve to live you guys like how I did that right the talk it out and I cannot spell today deserve not not serve okay now I did that and it's way too big so I'm gonna select it and I am going to drag this down make it a little bit smaller and I want it to be my brand color which is purple and teal so i'm going to come in here and add the, my color once i add my color in here it's probably going to stay and add okay so it did that i also want to have it some kind of effect so i still have it highlighted i'm going to drop this down and it gives me some effects and i'm going to do something like that maybe that one i like that better okay i'm going to drag this down so i can see i'm going to make that go away all right, so it looks a little bit like that. So I like that. So I don't know that I like this image, however. So I'm gonna go to settings and, <clears throat> oh no, sorry, just kidding. I'm gonna click image. And if I'm in the beauty industry, I'm gonna come free from Wix. And let's say I'm a little shy and I just don't want an image for me, although, I really highly recommend that you put an image of you. Then I'm going to select another image. So let's just grab the pink blush there. And it is now a pink. I do not like that. No, no. So let's find something else. Find something not so bold. And find something. Well, that's, that's not spell beauty. Oh my gracious. It's because I'm recording this for you guys. Oh, hello. Let's do, um, let's say, let's see, what do we like? What do we like? I don't think I like any of these. Let's grab this one, nail polish. Okay, that might work. Let's see what that looks like. Um, hello. I just changed you. There it goes. Okay, I don't know that I like any of these, to be quite honest. So, um, we're going to go with that. So, because that's so bold, it is very catchy. My, my text hides a little bit. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Add. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to add a shape. And I'm going to add this little box. And I'm going to make this box... So all the way across my text. And now you can't see my text, but if I oops, right click this, then I can arrange it and send it backwards. There we go. So now I can see my text. Okay. Now if you have all of these channels here, you can keep this. I like having it there so people can follow me and what you can do is set your social links and you can replace the icon as well so I don't know that I like the black there um, so let's just say I want Instagram in there I'm going to set my Instagram I'm going to replace this one with a Facebook one I'm going to do Facebook I'm going to do this one with Twitter And it's frozen on me. Come on. Work with my hair. <clears throat> Oops. Now it's going all over the place. 
Okay. Twitter. Okay. Replace this one with my YouTube. And this one with, oh, Pinterest. I gotta go add that one to my page. Because I do have Pinterest. Now, Pinterest, you guys, is a huge opportunity. Huge. And I do not take full advantage of it. Come on, come on. Work with me, work with me, work with me. We're just going to do Google Plus just for giggles and kicks because my computer's trying to load a video as I'm recording a video, actually. So I'm making it go over time and it's not liking me very much right now. Okay, let's just come on. Come on, Mr. Laptop. Come on, Mr. Laptop. Bear with me, you guys. Should not be this hard. It's not this hard, I promise. Alright. Probably shouldn't be recording this right now. It's okay. It's okay. Alright. So we're just going to delete that one. Okay, so when you change your icons, what you can do is come in here and then you add your link to your social media. Okay? And then you're done. And you can move that to wherever you would like to move it to. Alright. You can also click your image. And when you click it, I'm telling you guys. This is what I want to do. There we go. You get this strip here, and I want to be able to move this up. There you go. So it looks like that. All right, so now we have this, and I kind of like this. <clears throat> so we can keep this, and if you want to change the images here, what you're going to want to do is go to manage columns and it has one, two, three. These are your columns, one, two, and three. If you want to add a column, you click here and add a column, of course. If you want to delete one, you click the column you want to delete and delete it. Go back and manage. So if you wanted two columns, you can just delete that third column and you have two columns, which is what I did on my page. So I have a column of me and then I have... Um, details around what I provide. So when you go to manage columns, that's how you do that. You can also change if I want to make this image on that side, you can click this little arrow and it's going to swap them for you like that. Okay. So if you click this one, you can change the column background and I'm going to change the image. I'm going to upload media, upload from my computer and I'm just going to use an image of me and it's going to upload my image into my files and you guys as you're adding your files you can also add little folders to put your files in so you can keep up with the files that you have and I'm going to change the background and there I is that's a big picture of me you can change the settings here to tile whoa no Original size. Not want a picture of my nose. Okay. That's not nice. I'll play around with it until I get it to where I want it to be. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Alright, and then you can come over here and we can also do the same thing. Change the background to purple or teal, whatever your color is. And you'll add your text in there. And again, you can change that image, girl. I might use Free From Wix. You can use Makeup. 
maybe we're going to use that pink blush that we saw a while ago. Put it right there, boom. Okay. And then we're going to bring this up a little bit. Okay. Why I'm not so big. Now, as you're going through and you're editing this, you see here at the top, you have your desktop view and then you have your mobile view. If you click to your mobile view, your mobile view, we're gonna skip that, shows you how it looks like on your mobile device. So you wanna make sure that you take the time and you come in here and you alter this as well. Otherwise, it's not gonna look the exact same you can come in here and change your um, font size. That. Bring this up. And what I do like is that it tells me delete your space. And I'm like, yes, delete that space for me. And I kind of like. you want these swapped, you can manage your columns and switch them like that. We don't want that there. I don't know where those buttons come from. We haven't edited yet our added buttons. Okay, so there you go. And we're going to go back. So that is what we have so far. Okay. Now if I want to add a button, I just come here and add button. And add a button. And change it to be custom design, I want it to be bold like that, and I want it to be a dark purple, and I want the font, the text to be white, okay, that's my button, don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, it's going to be for my free download whenever I design that, okay, so here we go, now I'll get to all of this later, but if I didn't like this and I wanted to design my own header, what I would do is go to Canva. I'm going to show you this really quickly. I'm going to go to Home. Oh, I am Home. Oh, sorry. And I would select Facebook cover size. The Facebook cover. And it gives you so many options in here. Uh, different little things that you could do and choose little templates and things like that. So uh, let's use this one for example. And I'm going to delete that. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my elements and I'm going to add a picture in the very back. I'm going to use position and send it to the very back because what I want, I'm going to upload and I want a backdrop like this or like this okay so I want to create my own backdrop so maybe I want something like this and I'll put that in there and then if I drag it it's just going to automatically go to the back like that for me okay and I've already cropped myself out so let's find a picture of me and let's see which one do I want None of these. This, let's say this one. And if I just click on it and start moving it, it's going to think that I want to put it on my background. So I don't want to do that. So before I do, I'm going to go to Elements. I'm going to grab another little picture. And I'm just going to resize this picture. I'm going to put it over here in the corner. Then I'm going to take me and pop it over there. 
There we go. Okay, so I've done that. Now I'm going to take this background here and up here is the color and I want it purple. It's a little bright. Yeah, we'll go with purple. Let's go with that purple. Okay. And then we can say, what did we say? Create boss babes who build the life they deserve to live. So we say, create boss babes who design the life they deserve to live. Okay, so if you click on this, we can do this and make it a little smaller font. Or we can make it a little bit bigger. We can also change the font. Beauty starts from within. I like that. I kind of like that. And you can come in here and you can search. Let's say we need like a lips butterfly let's do lips add lips our heels okay so we just created that so we're going to come here publish download and download so we just downloaded we just designed our own header you guys it's that simple we're going to go back here i don't like this strip so we're just going to delete that boom it's gone i'm going to come here and i'm going to add image my image uploads I'm gonna upload my media I'm gonna go find my header that I just created <clears throat> here it is open there it is and add to the page and I'm gonna bring it up here I'm going to drag it. So you'll notice it's not quite big enough. So let's bring this down and drag this. There we go. Now you can always crop it. You can do whatever you want to with it. If you come here and click this design button, um, I don't want a frame. You can add a frame. You can do whatever you want to with it. You can crop this if you want to crop it. I don't want to crop it. Well, I think I'm going to leave it like it is. I'm going to move it up. And voila, there we go. So whenever you're ready, we can publish. And there is your website link. In the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to get your own customized URL. So you don't have the, you know, Wix site, Wix site.com, Wix site there. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Okay.